everyone welcome to watch it paint it in this video in this tutorial we are going to be painting clayface from batman gotham city chronicles that was kickstarted by monolith board games a while back sometime last year now big big game one everybody is excited to see now as i said it was kickstarted and it was a kickstarter exclusive so good news if you missed out on that like myself and are massively regretting it it is coming back to kickstarter for season two, but you'll be able to get all of the content from season one as well. Let's just have a quick look at the artwork for Clayface and you can see why, if you're familiar with this channel, I'll often aim painting miniatures on this channel, the first one from a game, being as simple and straightforward as possible to hopefully get beginners into the hobby. This one is no exception, handful of colors, very minimum investment, both financially and in time painting this model. So let's get on and see how we go about this guy. So I'm probably going to be teaching a few of you to suck eggs, but if you are brand new to painting, what you are going to want to do is first have a look at the impressive clay face miniature. Miniature is a strong word here. This is far from miniature. It's very, very big, very, very detailed, and I can barely see any mold lines on this miniature. It's really, really well molded. Looks absolutely great. So back to sucking eggs. If you're if you're new, you're going to want to prime your miniatures to before. If you're old as well, you're going to want to prime your miniatures. Everyone's going to want to prime this miniature, but all the painters will be familiar with that. So we're going to be using Army Painters Color Primer. This is leather brown. This is going to do most of the work for us. We're going to start by shaking it for a good, good two minutes, I'd say. Shake that up nicely. I've also placed him on a piece of card, which is going to make it a lot easier for me to handle him, turn him around without getting paint all over my hands. Now, when you're applying the primer, you want to start by pressing the spray down off the miniature. That's just in case some blobs or the can splurts or anything like that. All of that rud or well, it's not it's not going to be crud it's just going to be the can might just jam a little bit or something like that at the start but anyway just spray for half a second just off the miniature and then bring it in with nice light even strokes side to side catching it and then you can see i'm using that card rotating the miniature around i've got so much um, primer on the card it is going to be on my fingers but at least i'm not getting fingerprints on the miniature when you're done just turn that can upside down and spray it until no more brown comes out and just the aerosols empty. And this is it. This is how Clayface looks after that leather brown primer's been applied. Now you can use any color primer, white, black, gray are all gonna be useful in this, but this leather brown is just gonna mean he's basically done. So some of you might stop there. For the next step, I should have got a bigger brush. This was quite a big brush, but this miniature is not miniature. He was, he was fairly hefty. This is deep shader by the Army Painter. It's their very dark brown wash and i'm just going to apply that to everywhere i'm going to take the whole model and just give him a nice generous coating really i really want this to pull in the recesses he hasn't really got any flat surfaces except that sort of clay hammer that he's formed that's the that's the one to be quite careful with try not to let it pull in any of the flat bits but it's not really that flat it's got some sort of like indentation slight recesses so it's going to pull a little bit and just give it a bit of depth to it now this is going to do most of the work for you. And depending on how carefully you do the wash, if you were to remove it from the high, the raised areas, you couldn't be sort of done at this stage. But I'm being generous. Uh, it's much quicker to be generous and just slap it on in this case. And it's going to look great. He's a big clay blob, so you can't really go wrong if you do this approach. This is how he looks once that's dry. That is going to take a while, probably a good hour to dry with that. Um, but that, and again, like at this step, you could kind of stop. He's got a lot of definition now. He's going to pop out on the table. If you're brand new to painting, you've just spent about 10 minutes work getting it to this step, uh, minus the drying time. But don't sit around watching it dry. You will have a terrible time if you do that. We are going to move it on and we're going to do some highlighting. Again, easy miniature, easy highlighting. I'm going to take some of that leather brown. And in this video, I thought I'd mix it up because he's, he's quite a big round miniature. So I'm going to try one of these makeup brushes. I borrowed one of Catherine's brushes, borrowed. I think she might not want this back. Uh, I'm going to do just dry brushing. I, I thought long and hard about this, and you could just highlight it up normally without dry brushing. And you're not going to risk any sort of streaking on any of the smoother parts, the top of his head, his shoulder. But hopefully, the makeup brush is going to help there. And the other thing is, I just want to make this video super easy for any of the you brand new miniature painters out there. You can really just see that this is like five steps and you're gonna have a fully painted clay face for the game. So if you're unfamiliar with dry brushing, you're gonna to wanna to put some some paint. Now you can just use a dry brush. You don't have to use a makeup brush. I was just giving this a try. Uh, get some paint on your brush and then basically remove as much of that paint onto a kitchen towel as you can. So you just basically, your brush is dry at this point. You don't wanna add any water. You don't wanna water down that 
leather brown and leather brown's already quite dry so you could almost wait for a few minutes after you get it out of the, the pot and let it start to go a little bit more solid it's going to make it a little bit easier um you you are going to want to just lightly scrape this across the whole of clay face it, th th that's how i did it at this step just everywhere i'm just going to go round and round and round the miniature building up that leather brown base color back onto all the raised parts of this miniature especially around those corners of his hammer and he's got sort of like square bits forming down his uh, his hammer arm and those have got really really sharp crisp edges some giving extra to that because i'm really going to make those pop out by the end once that's drying once you've done a few coats and got it back to the leather brown you would like i'm going to mix up following that artwork again i'm going to mix up a lighter leather brown now if i'd gone the the clay brown that i generated before i'd seen the artwork you'd want to make that lighter with some white or maybe some more of that goblin skin just moving it closer towards a pale yellow as opposed to a yellowy brown now you saw just then i started applying this next highlight level this is matte white and leather brown mixed together about 50 50 and you saw that i just got too much on his face just quickly wiped that off and then i took my my dry brush and just wiped more of it off on that kitchen towel so it's just not going to make that mistake again and then i quickly remember to show you start somewhere that you want it to pop out more so i've gone back to the hammer just making sure i've got the right amount of paint on my brush instead of doing his face and making a big mistake in a really critical area that doesn't want to be stupidly bright although i am going to highlight it up quite bright anyway that hammer just got really really crisp sharp edges so that that doesn't matter too much if you went a bit over the top on that one and now as as the the, the paint's wearing even thinner on the dry brush as i'm going around and bringing it further up his arm and uh, getting that a bit lighter so with this color this about 50 50 matte white and leather brown i'm basically going to do a lighter coat and probably only one single coat this time almost all the way around the miniature i'm not going to try and get very close to any of the recesses whereas that leather brown original one i basically put it on all every single raised bit anywhere on him this color i'm going to be a little bit more sparing i'm going to be doing lighter strokes and maybe won't get anywhere near as much on his abs because they're below below him the light wouldn't be hitting it as much anyway down the inside of his thigh things like that i'm just not really going to try and catch that and i'm, I'm going to work on all the bits the light would be hitting down from above his buttocks are sticking out massively on this miniature and i'm going to make those highlight up well and again those edges on his sort of hammer fist they're just going to Oh, they're so crisp. <laughs> it's so, uh, I just really wanted them to pop out. I think that's a feature his face and his hammer. For a final dry dry brushing coat, for a final highlight, I'm going to take that 50-50 mix and, and, and put in another 50%, so down to about 25% of the actual leather brown now. And you can see I've, I've got the palette on camera. I don't often do that. I wanted you to see roughly the colors. These exact measurements aren't going to matter, these exact ratios. Just play and get a feel for it. And if you like what you see in this video, go for the mixers that you can see on my palette in the background now with this one being much much brighter i'm going to be very very careful where i put it i'm going to highlight up his face and he's got sort of like it almost makes like a cloak around his chest his face is blurring down onto his chest i'm highlighting that up and then again this hammer arm i just think it's a huge feature and i want to draw some attention to that so again going around the miniature i'm going to highlight up mostly his hammer arm his kneecap i think would be catching a little bit but i'm not being very generous here because i want to keep that focus on his face and his hammer a little bit on his hands basically all the final the most raised bits i'm just going to do a teeny tiny bit on just so it looks realistic but i'm going to do a more generous heavier dry brush on his face and, and around his cloak to bring that i'm calling it a cloak i don't, I don't know it's just like his face drips that are on top of his pecs and i just want to bring those out a little bit more and then i'll probably off camera have a look closely at this and do a second one on just his face and that hammer fist again and just really make those stand out that little bit more than anywhere else but yeah just being careful with this and picking out bearing in mind that the brightest points will draw your eye towards them but also you want to make it look realistic and that's where the, the light the sun will be hitting it so this is it this is how i'm done after highlighting him up those dry brush levels so so far you've primed it did most of the work washed it did most of the work and then you've got three levels of dry brushing that's going to take some time that's the majority of the time but that's about all you need to do after that i realized i didn't like that leather brown base it wasn't bad because he's quite far from leather brown now he's been highlighted up but i didn't really know what to do with the base it's quite a difficult one i would have just left that as that if it wasn't a big brown miniature on top so let us know in the comments below what you might have done with the base but crusted saw just made it a ready muddy 
earth, cracked earth color. And then I'm gonna use survivor shader, black wash, and just reshade all of that. So skip doing these bits at the start if uh, if this is more interesting for you. Don't bother washing it at the beginning. And that's just gonna give a ready cracked base of cracked earth with some black lines in it. And then I'm gonna use dead black and just paint around the rim of the base. That's, that's just gonna really finish off the model and make the base look nice, but bring your attention back to the, the, the actual miniature that's on top. Then I'm gonna to attempt to do his eyes with my teeny tiny brush and my magnifying glasses on, so they're gonna get in the way of the shot. Apologies for that, but basically baby yellow, nice bright yellow on his eyes, and I'm sort of doing a bit of OSL, object source light, and I'm just, I'm not being, I'm just not being very careful and applying that. And then off camera, I've added some white pupils and just blended that in a little bit but don't worry too much if that that's too difficult just some yellow eyes is going to go a long way for you now that's it that's completely finished clay face is done took me 40 minutes now don't worry about the times don't ever try and compare yourself to this i paint quite quick but my times are up there just so you can compare how long this miniature took me compared to another one this was a quick miniature not a lot to it he's, he's big so that's where the time was if this was a teeny tiny miniature that would be sort of 10 15 minutes long it's just the pure size of him with that dry brushing it's really really simple hopefully that came across on the video this is a great place to start when you're painting the game you're going to get a quick win out and if you're brand new to miniature painting it's going to give you a really really nice experience for very little time about an hour you can spend on it and then three or four colors of paint plus a primer done two brushes that's it it's not going to be very expensive anyway thank you all very much for watching and if you'd like to see some more batman tutorials let us know in the comments below and then i'll just take a second to remind you that batman's gotham city in chronicles is coming back to kickstart so if you missed out on the first season like myself you can pick it up on the kickstart coming june the 4th 2019 and if you've got the first one the season two is on its way then so you can check that out put a little note in your diaries in your palm pilots in your file of faxes have a look at that kickstart when it comes up thank you all very much for watching i'll see you next week